Okay guys, I know you've seen the title. In this video, I'll be going over an investing platform called Stake. This investing platform allows you to invest in real estate in Dubai. They do plan on branching out in other areas. But this is kind of different from the rest because the other particular investing real estate investing platforms they allow you to invest in real estate but it's in the united states so this is the first one where i actually seen they allow you to invest in dubai and you can invest in it for, for fractional shares with as little as 136 dollars if you want to see other real estate investing platform where you can invest as little as five dollars or ten dollars or a hundred dollars just check the suggested video i know a lot of times when people think of Dubai they like vacations great place to visit but now they have an actual way where you can actually invest in property in Dubai by using fractional shares now let's scroll down to see how it works and by the way I'll make sure I'll cover everything as much as I could the process of how it works is pretty simple on the sign up takes less than three minutes I would Necess wouldn't necessarily say that's the case um they do have to maybe maybe so particular platform you do have to provide your personal information um the sign-up process isn't that particularly long though you will need like your passport and uh, like a bank statement they'll have to verify it then after that this this particular currency is i think the money they use in dubai i think it's called daham <laughs> I believe that's the currency they use like in Arab or like the Middle East. You can easily convert it and they kind of do all of that. I'll show you all that later. But all the money is in Dubai, but you can switch it so that it will be in uh, US dollars. Then you sit back, track your income. Of course, you will get income from dividend rental income or appreciation, meaning the property increase in value or for rental income. The um, You can hold, exit, and resell. I'll go into that a little bit deeper. A little bit more in detail a little later and they also have it where you can you know toggle it around to see um, how much you could end up getting from appreciation you know blah blah, blah. these are some of the um, properties that they particularly had available but now I'm just going to sign in my particular account as you can see most of the time they have it on the they have a mobile app the mobile app version and they do also have one where you can sign online as you can see now they have everything in when if you wanted to they have the bed um, tower one bed they have a studio another uh, like two beds where and it shows you the annual returns annual appreciation projected gross yield and all of that so right now they have four available right now that you can invest in they have one luxury property as well I'll show you which one that I particularly have the way they kind of have it set up is like a car almost like you just kind of buying something like from Amazon or um, something like that also as far as the wallet you can either attach your bank or you can your debit card and kind of just pay from the debit card that's kind of what I did I did ask them a few questions about um, what would happen if they went bankrupt you know is it a by the way stake is a foreign company and I'll t explain to you the holding period and how everything would work and even what would happen if the company goes bankrupt now this is what I would consider for me more so experimental especially when stake is a foreign company so this one is just more so for experimental purposes i'm more so just trying it out and just showing you guys my particular experience so as far as high conviction i really don't know what to expect i've seen other youtubers get some kind of updates and it seems for me from what i've seen they had a relatively de at least decent experience so i end up going to try it out and i'll give you guys the overall experience so these are the ones that they have um funded as well and by the way I'll show you how to convert it to US dollars so that you can see um, but I'm just gonna click on one and as you can see you can they have even what you call like a virtual tour where you can and I'll show you that that's pretty cool so they have where you could do like a virtual tour 
they have something like that which i think is pretty cool they also have you know the pictures where you can just kind of look at a place you can see the very small places for the amount of particular money and this one and they show you all the information that you need projected return from investment depending on the amount you have as little as this would be like $136. By the way, if you wanted to convert it to US dollars, I would definitely just download the app. I'll have it up on the screen. The The best way that I, you would probably do it is once you go, and I'll show it up, up on the screen. Once you go to the app, at the bottom of the uh, screen on the app, what I would do is I would just click um, wallet at the bottom. Then at the top, at the top, you'll see it has AED. You will want to hit the top icon. And then it says choose display currency. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to switch it to US dollars. If you have Euro, you can switch it to that as well. And once I do that, I'm going to save the changes. So the way that you had to, I've seen you could do it is just by to do it on the app. And then when I refresh the page on here, it shows the money in US dollars, as you can see right there. So it shows how much, see, yeah, great. <laughs> shows how much money it would be in US dollars. So a little familiarity there. And it shows the U.S. dollar amount on the particular um, side. One of the downsides is to switch it so you can see it in U.S. dollars. The, I only seen a way where you can change it on the app. And I kind of, you know, just showed it up there. So they do have that as well. Um, let's go to the wallet. Shows how much I have. You know, it looks, I thought I purchased the property, but looks like I just have it all in cash, uh, $148. So I'll definitely uh, purchase one for this particular video. Yeah, it looks like annual appreciation, probably I'm assuming for annualized returns. It said annual appreciation 6%. I'm guessing it would be a 3% maybe yield from rental income. That's how they got the annualized. Uh, that's how they get the the annual lies of nine percent that's what I'm that's what I would kind of guess from basing off of the numbers just looking at it very quickly probably go with this one the relatively new one they have and what you would end up doing let me actually guys can end up seeing um, you would just you can switch this amount to the minimum is 500 Let's switch that. Add to cart. Um, One thirty-five is the total in U.S. dollars. Um, rental income, fifty-six cents. Appreciation, twenty-three dollars. Um, and then what I'm going to do is hit proceed to payment. Actually, I'm going to actually use the money from the wallet because I already transferred the money to the wallet. So that's what. All right, and it says confirmed. It says investment date, expect and closing date, um, February 24th. So ex expect the first rental prop. The expect the verse, the first rental payment March 27th, right there. And what we can do is we can hit view property. This is the particular property. Just go over the pictures really quickly, as well. And if I go to portfolio it now shows the property that I particularly have the investment amount um, how the amount that's funded you can see the uh, documents coming soon the deed the share certificates uh, view property SPL SPV and view property uh, details I'll definitely give you guys an update but I did ask them a few questions about the particular platform that you may have so I asked the questions I asked them I had a few questions I said is this American company or foreign company what happens if the company goes bankrupt um, will our investments be safe and how long before it will be to be able to sell the investments um, thanks for your time 
So they re replied relatively quickly. They let me know that it's a foreign company. Um, they did let me know that it's, it's regulated by Dubai Financial Services Authority, DFCA, adhering to its strict client money provisions. It says it ensures that the company assets is separate from the business operations. Furthermore, your investments are being held on protected holding companies, SPV, blah, blah, thereby creating a legal barrier between state and your assets. And you can find a little bit more details right there. They also said they recommend the holding period three to five years, long-term investment. And however, they said after a year, they do offer two windows that will, uh, one in May and one in November that would give you the opportunity to sell. So they did respond to the email. You never really know what these things into the um, situation actually occur. And the information, annual returns, annual appreciation, projected gross yield, um, projected net yield. A net is after um, fees, uh, like referral. It, I'm not, because it's relatively new, I typically don't really like talking to, about referrals because I haven't really had it a lot. So I would like to have it for a period of time. But if you want me to put down a link, I can. But like I said, to me, this is more trial and error right now so I can't I don't have any I uh, can't say any high conviction of if this is a good platform or not it's just me testing it out but yeah so you, get, you can like I said view the properties these are the ones that they actually show where they actually sold right now all of these are in Dubai they do ex plan expanding out to other ones but right now it's all in Dubai can should conclude everything if you have any questions, let me know. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ah.